A woman denied a liver transplant is calling for a change in the system. I'm Natish Bassano at Toronto General Hospital, where earlier today we caught up with Delilah Saunders. She's an Anuk activist who has been denied a spot on the list because she does not meet the six month sobriety requirement. She has been transferred here from Ottawa and she's receiving treatment for an acute liver failure. I'm really feeling for the families who have lost loved ones due to these policies. She's known for being an advocate for missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Now she's fighting for another issue, rules that prevent some patients from receiving organ transplants, including herself. She was on the road to sobriety and on the wait list before she was removed after she had a lapse while testifying at the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. Her sister was murdered four years ago. I think that these, these situations should be looked at in a case-by-case, -case, at a case-by-case -case basis. The policy for six months of sobriety prior to a liver transplant was instated in about 1989. And the idea back then was um, it was really based in stigma against people who use alcohol. So to discriminate against uh, an already vulnerable subset of ill people uh, seems very problematic. In Ontario, there are over 1,500 people who are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Every three days, someone will die because they did not receive their transplant in time. And on a national scale, 90% of the majority of Canadians support organ and tissue donation, but less than 20% have actually made plans to donate. And that's unfortunate because one donor can benefit more than 75 people and save up to eight lives. We reached out to Trillium Gift of Life Network. In a statement, they tell us... The sad reality is that there are not enough organs available for the number of Canadians needing a transplant. The scarcity of organs for transplant necessitates strict listing criteria to guarantee fair access for all in need. Our policies are reviewed on a regular basis to ensure that they are based on the most current research. We are currently finalizing a pilot program that will determine if there is sufficient evidence to warrant a change in the abstinence rule. Until the details of the pilot have been finalized, the listing criteria will remain unchanged. Liver organs are very limited resources and we have a lot of people on the wait list. So I think the requirement was put on to ensure the best success post-liver transplant. I think one thing that I really want to drive forward here is the importance of people registering as donors. Saunders' condition is improving and she says she has been receiving a lot of support from Canadians across the country. She hopes to return home soon. In the meantime, the Anuk activist is adding another issue to fight for, hoping to change a policy that denies transplants. From Toronto General Hospital, I'm Natish Bassano, City News.